Hello everybody at Edge Gamers, welcome back to another Meet the Leadership. My name is Demonic, and today I'll be interviewing the Media Team Senior Manager, Arbiter. How you doing today, man? What's up, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. What's going awesome, on? Awesome, man. Just having a chill, uh, chill Monday? Oh yeah, absolutely. No work today, so I'm just sitting at home and screwing around. <laughs> I feel you, man. <coughs> Alrighty, well, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So why do you love your job in the Media Team? Um, well, to be honest, I was kind of like a QA quality assurance, which is kind of like MS back in PG. And I kind of, this is going to sound really dumb, but I kind of hated always having to do everything. Like it was just constant work, constant, like, you know, uh, doing CLs and stuff. Whereas media team is kind of more relaxed. It's more like project focused. We get to do like cool projects and articles and stuff. And I, I'm, I'm kind of got a thing for organization and, you know, media team really lets me kind of hone that craft, I would say. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, why Media Team over MS? Um, well, honestly, when the merger happened, I was in MS for a little bit, but I like, you know, no offense to how things were being run here at the time. I didn't really like kind of the style that MS was set up in. It, it was nothing like QA. Okay, yeah. And I was kind of interested in doing video editing. So I had Faded, who was the old uh, media division leader, kind of hooked me up with a spot. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace, Faded. God bless his soul. Great guy. Bye, man. And, uh, and yeah, so after a while, Faded stepped down and I uh, got handed uh, senior manager for whatever reason. Cool, man. Yep. Alrighty. Well, uh, what got <clears throat> you into gaming originally? Oh, man. So back when I was like, I don't know, I might have been like nine or ten when the original like uh, Halo came out on the Xbox. And I used to play shit out of that. Hence my name, Arbiter, <laughs> came like during Halo 2. But that was oh, basically that like the, the first game I ever played was Halo, I'm pretty sure. Is that what but, that comes from? Because Loki, yes. I thought that was from yeah. like Dying Light or something. I don't know. Dying Light? I don't know. Uh, I've had the, some the people ask me if it was from like Minecraft. I was, wasn't <laughs> aware there was Arbiter in Minecraft, but maybe. I don't know. Something like that. All yeah. right. <clears throat> so if you had to choose, would you be a hero or a villain? Ooh, that's tough. Um, I don't know. I would like to think I'd be a hero, but like knowing like me and just the type of person I am, I'd probably be a villain to be honest. You know? <laughs> Maybe not like murdering people type of stuff, but definitely do some evil stuff. You know, I I would think. I don't know. Maybe, well, maybe in an alternate reality, I'm a hero. I don't know. Hard to if, say. If you were a villain, what would be your name? Oh, what would be my name? Oh man. Um. <sighs> Damn, you're really putting me on the spot here. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Like, I don't know. It's got to be Dr. Something, you know? Like, Dr. all the something. good villain. Like, you got Dr. Penguin. He's fucking badass. Mr. <laughs> Penguin, you know what I mean? So I don't know who that is. Got, he's like uh, one of the DC villains. So you got to have, like, I think a doctor makes everything, you know, sound evil. Except for, like, that Dr. Mad Dog guy. He's he's kind of strange. You don't really count. but Who's you know. that again? Oh, he's, you know, this really, really great E. He's a fantastic player, <laughs> just so kind in the community. He really stands out, and he's great. And he should really get promoted someday. I hope. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, this I've been wanting to ask you for a while. Why do you have a burning <laughs> obsession with Honda? Oh, my God. Who added that question? Um, I don't They're just really reliable. The first car I ever had was a, a 2004 Honda Civic Si, and I drove it for like 290,000 miles till I blew it up. Holy Jesus. And then I got a Honda Accord, which is at like uh, 30,000 miles. So they're just reliable. Everybody hates on them, but they're great cars, and they don't cost huh. anything to fix them. But isn't literally everything else up to date with Honda? Like... I mean, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Like, personally, I would love to have a nice foreign, like, you know, BMW or Mercedes or something, but I'm poor, okay. dude. I don't got that kind of money. You know what I mean? <laughs> and to do an oil change on a BMW is like 150 bucks, where on a Honda, it's like 20. Hmm. So, you know? Well, you don't get your, like, golden. I mean, I do do it myself, but, you know. You don't have, like, your golden jet flights that you get from being a senior manager here or something? Oh, no, nah, dude. No, nah, they, they're not, uh, <laughs> you know, the paycheck here is, is a little weak right now, I gotta say. I think we're, <laughs> it might be, like, five cents an hour or something like that. So, we'll have to see okay. maybe in the future well, I get a better paycheck. Cash is cash, I guess, but... Yeah, right? It adds up. <laughs> All right. So, if you had to run the community, what would be the first thing you would change? First thing I would change? Oh, man. What, what wouldn't I change? No, I'm just kidding. Um, first Whoa. thing I would do, I think, is probably designate everybody. Like, in my opinion, the community is like, you know, their drive, our driving point right now, or like where we get most of our players is probably Jailbreak. And 
yeah. maybe a bit of TTT. Like so I would put every resource we have in tech team into jailbreak. That's just me. Like everything we've got, I'd put it into huh. making that game mode so much better and then opening up another server. And then I'd open up another server and they'd both, all three of them would be jailbreak. <laughs> But that's just me. That's probably the first thing I would do on a, a big list of stuff that I would probably change. But Okay, that's fair. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So when was the last time you played Jailbreak again? <sighs> well, all right. So I got to be honest here. I don't play Jailbreak on my admin account. There, I know there I'm going to get go. a bunch of shit for that. There you go. I don't because, look, I don't understand the Jailbreak rules anymore. I get on and, like, you know, I try to play on T and then I accidentally free kill somebody and it's all embarrassing. <laughs> so I play on my ult where it's okay if i make a mistake i won't get yelled at by an admin and you know i'm trying i'm trying to learn i, I do want to come back to jailbreak i miss jailbreak a lot but like when you've played it for two thousand hours after a while yeah, you really start yeah. to get burnt out and i feel you man yeah every time i log onto that server i get ptsd from people spraying down the stack and shit like that Something, so yeah, stuff like that like after eventually 40. yeah eventually i'll make my way back to i mean you know you have like what like 600 700 hours on jailbreak server I have like so. 40 plus days yeah, so you know the pain. Eventually, yeah. I'll make my way back, though. <laughs> All right, man. So what is your favorite song, artist, band, or genre in general? Oh, man. I'm going to get so much hate for this. But, like, all right. I had this girlfriend back in 2014 who was a oh, hardcore Justin Bieber fan. Biggest Justin Bieber fan I've ever you... in my entire life. Are okay, you okay? Hold on. Hold on. Before you Are you okay? Me. And I really, really liked his journals album. Really, really fucked with it. Like that stuff was so good. Because when you have, you know, a girlfriend or a significant other, and all they do is have <laughs> you play one video game or one type of music every day, all day. Eventually, it becomes all you know. So like, I kind of like, I kind of like his newer stuff. You know, I know I'm gonna get some hate for that too. But besides that, I really like Incubus, uh, Foo Fighters, um, big Kendrick Lamar fan. Obviously, a bit of an Eminem fan. You know, some rap, rock. Okay. The only thing fair. I really don't mess with is country whatsoever, not one bit. Okay. Well, uh, being from Missouri, I kind of have to go along with that with country. Yeah, it's but... true. You don't really have a choice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I could never get into it. I don't know. I mean, it seems every country every country song is about, like, alcohol and uh, love and, like, love Pretty loss. Much. And uh, Pretty horses much. and riding your pickup truck down the highway or some shit like that. Yeah, so. something like that. Yeah, it ain't for me. Well, regardless, haters gonna hate, hate, hate. No. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So coming down to our last and final question, do you miss mm -hmm. your position in member services or QA or anything like that? Yes, and I miss, I miss QA dearly, and I think about it a lot. I don't miss QA necessarily because the work. I miss the people. We had, like, Sydney and Jesse and Hot Dogs, uh, yeah. many great advisors and many great QAs like yourself. I remember you grew QA for a little oh, bit. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, no, but it was, it was a great time. We had such a great group working back in PG, and like I said, when I came into MS, I could tell it was run a lot differently than QA, and it still is, but it's definitely an improvement. Um, but, yeah, I definitely, I definitely have a, a place in my heart for QA in uh pg forever yeah. and uh you know one day maybe when pg2 starts i'll be you know <laughs> QA, qa demigre or something like that <laughs> yeah pg2 coming out this year dude 100 <laughs> percent. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that would be great wouldn't it oh yeah 100 percent, dude well anyway uh thank you for joining me today arbiter and thank you everyone for coming out to watch this meet the leadership uh we just want to thank you all so much for tuning in i've been demonic this has been arbiter and we'll see you guys next time later guys stay in school stay in school everybody